A GMC showed off that new Hummer EV, 0 to 60, in about three seconds, very fast, and no longer a gas guzzler. Oh. I mean, yeah. it's just, uh, it's an electric vehicle. And and uh, they said they sold out of the Edition 1 launch. They had been really, you know, they were teasing it for a long period of time, barely showing you anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now they just come out and say, oh, yeah, no, there it is. There it is. There it is. And I don't know. How do you feel about the look, Will? Let's get your feedback. You've seen the other electric yeah. trucks. Now you have the Hummer. This looks like a big one. It looks like a real off-road type of thing. Mm -hmm. You want to talk, though. So I'm going to, this is your, the floor is yours. I was just going to say, I mean, between the Rivian, the Cybertruck, and the Hummer, oh, man, I really like it. I like it. Oh, I thought you were going the other way. No, no. I, I think the wide body like is wi just like a really mean shape. Mm. And uh, There's another image, yeah, actually, if looks, you scroll down, which really shows good. how jacked up it is on the side. If you see it in the rock crawl when it's like fully elevated. Look at the shocks. Yeah. Look how high up that thing is. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a look for sure. Now it's I mean, big. It's big. You gotta have a place to park this thing. Well, yeah, they need bigger wheels for this one. It looks kind of weird with uh, what is this? <laughs> well, the bigger Apart tires. Well, bigger, the thing the thing yeah, about this tires. is I don't know if that is a setting in the car. I don't think it rides that high always. They put on some sort of rock crawl mode. Oh, it, I it see. wouldn't be like I that all, all the time. It would be a more typical. So right now the suspension is just elevated. Yeah, it would have a more regular stance most right. of the time. Uh, what it's do you think about it? Yeah, I'm I'm undecided. I love the interior screen. I'm really excited for because I saw the the uh, Unreal stuff. Mm -hmm. Epic is, Epic Games is doing the infotainment on the Hummer. Am I right? Am I am yes. I remembering the right yes. story? So if that's the case, because I hate all the infotainment systems for the most part. If Epic's doing the, the infotainment on this vehicle, it's going to be a fun, responsive infotainment. Yeah, with so, 3D graphics. I'm very excited Fortnite. to see uh, how it bit like it built on Unreal, right? Yeah, B yeah. Built on Unreal. So uh, I'm excited about the interior. The exterior, I have to see it in real life. It may just look a little more plasticky. Okay. Is yeah. that fair? I don't know. Maybe on the front end. Let's see. The back end is okay. The, what is that grill? Is that all a light? It looks like they're all LEDs. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna, There's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put a pause on my judgment okay, for now. I'm yeah. gonna look at it. Uh, compare this. It's obviously not a cyber truck, but it is futuristic looking. But it's, but it is meaner than the Rivian. Yes, it's very mean if you're looking for mean. Yes, but so is the cyber truck. So anyway, the Hummer has been gone for a really long time. It comes back in electric form. It's a very high performance vehicle. I don't know. They're calling it a super truck, whatever. It is expensive. One hundred thirteen thousand mm. dollars. So that's something to mention, by the way. You were comparing to Cybertruck starts a lot lower than that. What, at 35000 No, was it that I think low? so. The lowest, like, single motor? No, I don't think it was thirty-five. was, was it? it? Okay, let me, I got to check. I think it was forty-five. Forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-nine, 65 something like that, for the three trims. Oh, well, oh no, you're right. 40, well, 50, or 70. 40, yeah, 40, 50, or 70. Either way, way all of them way less than uh, what they're charging for the Hummer. So that's mm -hmm. an interesting choice, the price point. Uh, I'm not sure where Rivian's going to line up comparatively. Now, there will be cheaper models that come out later, but they're, they're, a lot are, are having this technique now, Will, where they, they launch with the most expensive version. By the way, it looks like it has the dual tailgate, which I had on a previous yes. GM truck. That's kind of cool. It creates a step. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's what that one is also. This is a GM product at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so they will have cheaper models eventually. The addition one is going to, how they're going to roll out at 113 grand. Eventually, they'll get as low as 79,995 for models that are coming in the spring of 2023. Wow. God, that's a long way away to get a deal on one of these. But they say the addition one sold out within 10 minutes. They're taking $100 deposits, taking a page from Tesla on a Cybertruck. I think that was 102, or is that 500? I don't remember. I did it. I did the deposit. Yeah, I think it was what a... Uh, Look how the roof comes off the whole thing. Show yeah. that image. Oh, that's it. That that's cool, right? That's an edge. That's a bit yeah. of an edge. On, I mean, you can't do that with the Cybertruck. Can't and take then this looks like a truck. But that's not real. Oh, Is that real? Not, no, that's not it real. It looks like it. I don't think that's real. No, no, that's a concept. That's, that's real. That's oh, what okay. it ended up looking like. Look at the tires on that thing. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, mean. it's cool. It's cool. It's mean. Um, maybe we'll get in a new studio mm. when, when they can send us a, a unit and we'll get in a new studio. We'll compare it to these other ones. Who knows? Maybe they'll bring one by. 1,000 horsepower, 0 to 60 acceleration in three seconds. 11,500 pound-feet of torque. Wow. Incredible. 